filmmaker, photographer, painter and activist, Horace Ove CBE is undoubtedly one of the most important figures in the British film industry, with a career spanning 50 years. The extent of his influence has, um, has yet to play itself out. As far as I'm concerned, he's um, arguably one of the most important filmmakers this country's ever produced. As the UK's first black filmmaker, Horace gave voice to a generation with films like Prussia, Baldwin's Nigger, King Carnival and A Hole in Babylon. We didn't just fall out of the sky as black filmmakers. We stand on the shoulders of those who came before us. And it, it's quite clear that I, as a black filmmaker, could not and would not be here without filmmakers like Horace. Born in Belmont, Trinidad, he came to London in 1960 and was soon cast as a slave in Elizabeth Taylor's Antony and Cleopatra, a role which took him to Rome and placed him on a film set for the first time, inspiring him to pursue his dream of becoming a filmmaker and to tell the stories of the black experience, both in England and beyond. Well, personally, I think Horace is always quite fortunate, really. He always seems to land on his feet. He always did. Land ahoy! Have you ever been discovered? White men were always discovering us. But things have changed. It is time we in turn explore the homeland of the white man. His work in film, television and photography documents and pioneers representations of black culture and multiculturalism in a way that had never been seen before, giving rise to a new genre of filmmaking in the UK. Horace's films are gold. People can make films on their phones now, do you know what I mean? And you, you're talking about a man that was making these films in 1975, you know, so there's no excuse for a young filmmaker to be lazy. When you, when you understand what Oris has done and what he had to fight against to even make his films, you, <laughs> you should go out and make a film today. As the first black British film director, he proved to the mainstream that black BAME film directors were as good as anybody else. A lot was invested in that. That was the first black feature film ever made in this country. Brothers and sisters, we must organize ourselves politically to deal with our own situation because the government of the world is not going to help us. Making a film about the struggles of that in such reality was just like, you know, groundbreaking. We must demand an end of racist education. We must demand an end of racist housing, we must demand bread, peace, right. dignity, and social justice for all men, be he white or be he black. That film would be groundbreaking today, you know, when you listen to the words. And then playing away just felt like an incredibly joyous film, particularly if you're there at home with your parents watching it. Because let's not forget, you know, back in the day when that came out, there weren't very many movies featuring black people. He affected my life personally. Uh, Horace cast me in a TV series called The Latchkey Children. And actually, um, the, the money that, that I got paid for doing that series uh, paid for my school fees um, and my sister's school fees for about four or five years, which enabled my mother to not work as hard in order to put us through schooling. Horace gave me my first major job out of drama school on screen. Um, it was the Orchid House. He took me to the West Indies. And um, it was a, a master class, really, being around him. Um, he's the Don. Horace has had an endemic effect on me, without a shadow of a doubt. You know, my attitude towards this industry is down to people like Horace. You know, my patience in this industry is down to people like Horace. It wasn't a question of, is this important or is it not? The importance was that this had not been said or told before, that these stories that were in the shadows had to be revealed. Horace consistently documented the black power movement and used every tool at his disposal to ensure that its truth was recorded. We had Michael X lived in a flat upstairs from us. 
So the Black Power meetings, half of them were held in our little back garden. Dick Gregory and uh, Michael X and Stokely Carmichael and James Baldwin and some heavy dudes were passing through there too. And Horace was able to, to capture that spirit and also to photograph them as well too. Horace was just one of those people whose sheer talent allowed him to break down the barriers before people were even thinking about multiculturalism or diversity. My work is really a continuation of, of the narratives that Horace has played out across his career, both in film and photography. Like all great trailblazers, Horace just got the job done. There was something that he wanted to do and he went out and got it done. It was only afterwards he realised that he was either the first or that he had done something that nobody else had done before. That is the measure of a trailblazer and that is Horace Over. Horace, thank you so much for everything you've done for this industry and for BAMEs in this industry. You're a don. Thank you, Horace, for liberating this young, angry, reactionary black British boy. Always you told us that we were allowed to go anywhere and do anything we wanted. And you gave us so much art and so much culture. What I take most from Horace is his sense of defiance, never taking no for an answer. Thank you, Horace for being the first. Thank you, Horace, for making it possible for me to be the filmmaker that I am today. Thank you, Horace, for all the inspiration you've given to me and to many other filmmakers. Thank you, Horace, for all the wonderful work you've done. As I say, it's more than just that. We've been family and friends for all our lives, really. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for being you for making the past clearer, for us being able to stand on your rather brilliant and broad shoulders. There's a long list of things that I could thank you for. I'm gonna whittle it down to this. Thank you very much for being in my corner. Thank you very much for being who you are. Thank you. Power to you.